Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today's video is going to be a short simple video. Today I'm going to be installing my AFR gauge and my oil pressure gauge. I started this video last night, but I was exhausted after getting my long block 100% ready to drop in, which will be happening tomorrow, so Thursday's video for you guys. But Bo and I went and took a little road trip to Seattle today to get a new desk set up for both of us, so I'm quite exhausted. It's been a 13 hour day of driving. So today's gonna be a short video for you guys, but I almost did not record because I'm exhausted. It's late at night right now but I cannot stop on my daily uploads. I think I'm on day 14 is this video. So I thought I might as well just make a small video, at least get you guys a video and show you guys how I'm gonna be installing my gauges. I did start recording this yesterday, so I might throw clips in here of yesterday. So if there's two different style clips, that is why it's from last night. But I went ahead and unboxed my new gauges. I did have to buy the kit because for some reason individually they are sold out. So I had to buy the kit with the boost gauge, which I'm not gonna be using. I only care about the AFR and the oil pressure. But today we are gonna get them wired in. I started yesterday, excuse the poor lighting, but I already removed the stock bezel on the cluster because I have my two gauge pod bezel going in, as you guys can see on my driver's seat there. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start feeding the wires through. This is where I have fed all my previous wires. This is where I have all my fuel pump wires going through. So that grommet is kind of full. I think I'm going to be removing my AOS. There is another grommet that pops through to the passenger footwell. I'm gonna put the wires through there and then I will feed them over to where the gauges will actually be. I think it'll be a lot cleaner look because I do have a lot of wiring going through there and I wanna keep the wiring as tucked as possible. So I need to go ahead and remove this AOS so I can access this grommet. So I just got the AOS removed and you guys can see the grommet here. So I have my, this is where my air lines come from my air suspension and then also the wiring for the management. But there's still plenty of space left. I'm gonna go ahead and feed all of the wires I need for my oil pressure and my AFR gauge. I apologize for the absolute horrible lighting in here. I don't have any light over the car and obviously I don't have a battery in the car so the lighting is just horrendous in here. But I got the first wire fed through and that was honestly quite a pain in the ass because I do have a lot of wires going through there. More than I had initially thought. So, I, so what I ended up doing was pulling out that grommet so I could um, easily feed the wire where I wanted it to. Before I had the grommet pulled, the wire was just going in all weird directions and it just got lost under the dash with all of the other wiring. But pulled out the grommet and made it a million times easier. I was able to direct the wire exactly where I want it. And we have the first wire now fed through. 
Well, I got the lighting in here just a tad bit better. I forgot I had some Harbor Freight, um, just crappy little lights, so I have them placed in my oh shit handles, so at least you guys can get maybe a little bit fo better footage. But I have the wire ran, it's very hard to see, but that white thing right there. I think the initial game plan is to take this apart and I will feed the wire through and then I can put it up straight through to where the gauge is. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the oil pressure line through so I can get all the lines um, ran through the firewall that I need and then I can start routing them from there. So now that I got the AFR wire ran through, I was originally gonna run this wire through the firewall as well, but I do not have to do that because I am wiring this straight into the fuse and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So what the game plan is, is I'm gonna be using this uh, add a fuse or whatever you call this, and I'm going to be wiring the power directly into here. And then as you guys know, if you pull this panel here, you have a fuse box in here as well. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be tapping into that with the new fuse for the gauges. As you guys can see, maybe that red wire right there, that is the same thing I did for my air suspension. It was a add the fuse as well. That way, the, obviously I'm not getting consistent power, so when I cycle the key on, that's when the gauges will turn on. You know what, I take that back. That is not how the air management is wired in. And now looking at this, I need to 100% correct that. As you guys can see with my little flashlight here, the wire is just stuck straight in to the fuse, which is not okay. I need to go ahead and add another uh, add a fuse. So I'm not just constantly running power with no safety. So I'm glad I'm doing this right now because I can't believe I let myself do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and feed the oil pressure lines that I need. As you guys can see, I now have all of the wires fed through. I need to go ahead and give the oil pressure a little bit more slack, it's fighting me. But we now have all of the wires needed inside of the vehicle. And here is all the wires I need with plenty of slack. Next, I need to figure out what I have to remove in order to get the wires to come through where the bezel is going to be. So I just made a quick phone call to our friend Tanner Schmedia, you guys know on YouTube. And I'm asking, cause I know he has recently-ish wired in gauges and I was wondering his input where to wire it to get the best tuck and he actually pointed out, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but right in that corner uh, where my finger is, there is actually just an opening I can feed all the wires through. I don't have to remove anything and it will pop right out at my driver footwell. And then from there I can wire it straight up. So no removal is necessary. So that is quite nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get those wires transferred over and then I'll pick up the camera on the driver's seat. Also what I've been doing to feed all this wire through because these wires normally are separated. This wire here is for the gauge itself and then you have your wires that go to the power. I have been using some electrical tape and taping them together so when I feed them through, they don't get separated and I can get a clean push and not get everything so separated. And as you guys can see, I successfully have the oil pressure ran through to the passenger side. Now I need to get the AFR pushed through. And how I ran these wires up here, I did not realize it was as easy as I thought. As you guys can see here, you have your whole like steering column steering wheel. I fed the wires up here and then pulled them through here. I, I'll show you guys here. So you have your wires that you just pull through here and then you can actually just tuck them and put them back and it gets out of the way. Obviously I'm gonna wanna go ahead and zip tie and secure to make sure that it's not rubbing on the actual steering column itself, but the wires are up here now and i'm actually only going to be using two wires from each sensors they come with four wires as you guys can see here there is a blue white red and black 
Red and black are going to be your positive and ground. Um, your white and blue, one is signal. I can't remember the other one, but we're not going to be using the blue and white ones. So those will just get snipped off. We are only worried about the positive and ground. The two positives will get from each gauge will be connected. And then when I go and install the Adafuse, there is a perfect chassis bolt that I will put both of these grounds to and I'll bolt it right next to the Adafuse. But let's go ahead and grab the gauges and the bezel and get the gauges and all of that stuff placed in permanently. And then from there, we can do all the wire tucking and do the final step and give it power. Well, as you guys can see, the gauges, sorry, I'm trying to get my flashlight so you guys can see. The gauges are finally in. Very simple, just a positive and a negative, and the gauges are 100% done. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do it in today's video. I have the Adafuse that I was going to be using for these gauges, but since I noticed that my air suspension was wired, I mean, correctly, but incorrectly, not how it should be done properly, and unfortunately, it's like 10 o'clock here, and nowhere is open that I can go pick up an Adafuse, and while I'm already in here, I might as well fix the air management too. So unfortunately, in this video, I'm not going to get to wiring it in. But in the next video, I will make sure to show you guys the wiring process. It's very simple, but I'll do it for you guys anyway if you guys want to see the full process. But unfortunately, it's late. I cannot go pick up another one. And I'd rather just do it all at once while I'm already here. But make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video. The goal is to get a first startup, but we'll see what happens. 100% the motor is gonna be placed back in the car and everything put back together. Worst case, if first startup doesn't happen, it's going to happen in the next video. I just wanna make sure that I'm really taking my time to make sure that this motor is 100% ready to start up and I'm not gonna have any failures on me. That is the last thing I want, but I feel like I've been doing pretty good on taking my time assembling this motor. If I wanted to, I could have had this done in a day, but I really want to take my time and focus on this. Every time I rush something, something bad always seems to happen, but I'm happy I was still able to make you guys a video, even though it was quite a crappy video. The lighting was horrible, and I wish I could have given you guys a better video, but I thought a video is better than no video for you guys. Um, and if you guys never knew how to wire engages, I hope this video helped you guys. I know it wasn't very informative, but I hope it will help you guys at least get a leg up of how to wire. I've never wired in gauges myself before, but so if I can do it, you guys can do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel for the startup of my STI. It has been way too long. As you guys can see, I still have all of my Gatlinburg stuff still in this car because this was the last time I have sat in the car. And unfortunately at Gatlinburg, I was not able to drive it because my motor failure, which was completely on me. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you guys go check out my videos from Gatlinburg. I recorded everything, what happened tearing the motor apart. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one.